Hello, No Code Ops. Uh, Phil here. And today uh, I'm joined by Renat, who works in product and marketing and operations, all of the things at Fardeen. Renat, welcome to the show. Super excited to be here. Thanks. Yeah. Um, so can you tell us uh, a bit more about uh, Bardeen, like how it came to be, what the goal of it was? Uh, and by the way, congratulations on the recent product hunt uh, of the day, week and month, Trifecta. Um, but yeah, we'd love to hear more about uh, Bardeen. Absolutely. So Bardeen is a proactive uh, workflow automation tool. So the things that you usually do manually on your computer, that account usually for 60% of things you do on your computer, that can be automated with our tool. So you might have heard of automation tools like um, Zapier or Integromat, which is make.com now. Uh, we uh, do something slightly different. So those automation tools, they work in the background and you just connect data to flow from one place to another. And we're trying to tackle the use case of uh, workflows that involve your judgment. So where you need to input a piece of text, where you need to say, hey, this profile qualifies to be added to my CRM, um, creating tasks on the fly, which requires you figuring out like what the task is, those type of workflows that require tap switching and multiple apps, we can automate. So a bit more human in the loop focused. Exactly. It's human in the loop automation. I love it. Well, yeah, you want to show us uh, the platform and just showing us like a user having an aha moment, um, you know, that would be, yeah, we'd love to see it. Absolutely. So let me share my screen. And the first thing I'm going to show you uh, is uh, my most favorite uh, playbook uh, cool. that will send a, a meeting reminder. Uh, but first, the one thing that you need to understand is that we are a Chrome extension. So all of the data that uh, and the integrations that you enable and connect, they will go through your machine. And that allows you to essentially have uh, data privacy and to automate uh, things in context, meaning where things happen like on your computer. We know the page that you're looking at and we can recommend you automations that are the most relevant. But I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a second. Here we have the uh, icon to open uh, Bardeen. And then you see the right side panel with this Beautiful playbook. UI on the extension, by the way. Love it. Thank you. Um, we have one incredible designer. His name is Mickey. So here we have an automation that will send all meeting participants a, a, uh, an email. So let me uh, click on it if you're running late. It's going to find the current meeting on my calendar right there. And just with one click, it sent, it, it sent a templated email with the link to the meeting. So let me uh, see the event. OK, so here it says, uh, hey, apologies, I'm running a few minutes late. This one is uh, running late. There is also, hey, I'm waiting in the meeting room automation as well. So you Which can just... none of us have ever sent to somebody. <laughs> yes, but uh, like the manual thing, uh, the manual way of doing it would be either you uh, you actually just running late and and people do not know that you're coming or not, which is a frustrating experience. Yep. Or are you going to your calendar, copying their links, then going to your Gmail, pasting the links and doing Now, that. when you're doing this through G Suite, is this browser-based automation or are you actually like integrating and authenticating uh, Gmail to the service? We, yeah, we do connect directly with the APIs of Gmail and Google Got it. Calendar. Great. So, um, yeah, this is uh, this is a one click automation that I showed you. I think the the coolest thing that you can do with Bardeen is the workflows that uh, require your context. So knowing like what you're currently looking at to automate. Yes. So here I have my LinkedIn page and say I'm browsing through LinkedIn. I found somebody interesting and now I want to either email this person or add them to a CRM so that somebody else can reach out. Uh, so I can copy all of the information from here to my CRM or I can do this with one click. And I think this will be like the perfect representation of the aha moment. Right. So I'm going to show you uh, here, I have a, con a context database in Notion yep. and now, we can build 
an automation that will add information from here to here. Great. So let's open Bardeen. And by the way, we already have this automation built in. Uh, we have a catalog of built-in automations, but if you want to build your own, that's no problem. You need to click on create new playbook. You have a question? No, it's just, yeah, I was gonna say, when you, can you go back to that screen um, on LinkedIn, if you're on LinkedIn and it knows your most commonly used thing on a LinkedIn profile page is this type of automation where you're sending everything to Notion, does it push that up towards the top? Uh, yes, it does. So here we have uh, Explore and says, hey, copy LinkedIn profile to ClickUp. Um, and then it can do a bunch of, a bunch of other things cool. uh, with like Notion and other tools. Great. In fact, uh, like our bigger vision is for you to forget about like what you do on your computer that's manual. And instead we can recommend you your workflows by watching you like do the, the manual things. Great, um, cool. And we, so uh, let's go ahead and click on create new playbook. And here you have a canvas and you have different triggers and you have different actions. So we want to create a scraper. Scraper just extracts information from in this case, the current, the active tab, the currently open tab. You need to build a scraper template. I have a LinkedIn profile page scraper already built in uh, because we have a little bit less time uh, for this call. I'm not going to show you how to build the scraper, but I'm just going to build a template. I'm sure it's very visually driven and super, yeah, straightforward. Exactly. Uh, so here we have the scraper template. That's uh, scraper is the first action. So it copies the information. And the second action is to add information to uh, a database in Notion. So add page to Notion. Uh, you pick your database. We have the contacts database. So it's going to load up in a second. So this is the contacts database. Now you need to map the data. So let's right. map uh, from the previous action to uh, here and then you can do like the url we had linkedin somewhere so let's do i totally uh, get it now like once you are on that page you click run this playbook from that url it will take all this information uh from that page and put it into your contacts yeah exactly and save it in one click so uh let's call it linkedin to notion this is the name of the playbook, and we're just going to run it. And in one click, it's going to get the information added. I love it. So I'm going to click it here. And boom, there, there it is. That, there it is. I love it. So let me ask you this Is everything in Bardeen uh, started with a manual trigger, or can you also, are there other ways to start an action in terms of, uh, or trigger something like by way of scheduling or by way of, Anything else, or is it all starting with a manual, um, a manual kickoff? Uh, we do have uh, automations that are uh, trigger based. Uh, we call them auto books. And here I'm going to show you. Uh, we can create recurring tasks in Notion. For example, this can be done every so often. I was testing the 30 second action. Um, you can also join the next meeting automatically. So we find your next calendar event and we just open the link and automatically joins the link. So absolutely, you can you can do this. Uh, you need to just add a trigger action before uh, your regular actions and save it. Cool, last two questions. One, what are the most common um, like types of roles using this now? What are they using it for? The LinkedIn, to Google Sheets is a very common use case. Tons of people use it. Uh, everything scraper related. Um, some folks in the NFT space, they're scraping OpenSea uh, pretty frequently. The meeting automations, ascending meeting reminders is a very common one. Uh, we also have use cases for data transfer. So you can, for example, transfer all of your issues from GitHub or all of your tasks from Asana to Notion and or to any other app for that matter. Do you two-way sync minutes. that like bi-directionally? No, we do it a uh, one-way sync. So okay. uh, the, the first action is to, hey, find all of the events, for example, and then the second one, hey, create uh, create new pages in Notion. So you Got can, it. for example, transfer stuff from Google Calendar to your events database, uh, but it doesn't do two-way sync yet. 
Cool. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. it. You heard it here first. Um, cool. Well, this was amazing. My last question is how can people find out more uh, if they want to, uh, yeah, if they want to start using Bardeen? Uh, check out Bardeen.ai and you can just click on try it and download the extension and definitely browse through our use cases and our playbooks catalog where you can find pre-built automations that are best for your manual workflows. Amazing. Uh, Renat, this was awesome. So excited to just like uh, to dive in and learn more. And uh, yeah, thanks for being on the show. Thank you so much. It was exciting. Cool.